Hi! Welcome to Comstock House. Uh, there's nothing actually to pick up in Comstock House uh, until you get to the atrium, and we're going to cover Comstock House, the atrium, and the warden's office. Now watch out for these dudes, uh, the seer blokes. As soon as you push that button, the next level will start. So as you can see, that was just Comstock House. It's pretty short. There's a bit of a fight there. If you can avoid the guys, the gazing guys, uh, it's going to work in your favour. But there is your first proxophone when you call the lift down. And it's from Elizabeth. So having heard ones from you, you now get to hear ones from Elizabeth. Anyway, up here, and you'll meet your second dude. And if you wait till his gaze looks away like this, you can just run past him. And there's some salts in the back side of that room. But the easiest ways I find to deal with these guys is chain electricity and then bash them uh, with electric stun. So I've dealt with them and you don't have to see it. But around the back here is your first kinetoscope. There you go, sunrise. And I always kind of want to wait these out to see what happens at the end, but then I get bored waiting. Anyway. Uh, carry on here, turn around and head back the other way, and in here you're going to find Voxophone number two in a coffin, next to some salts, which you may need. I've also got the blood to salt gear active, so I basically chain and electrocute them, possess one, uh, and then my salts build up as they die, which is quite nice. There's another seeing guy through here, uh, so watch out for him, and then you want to head up here where there's going to be a bit of a fight with some soldiers and turrets and then around this way you're just following the objective marker and you'll find a kinetoscope here, hummingbirds yeah, and it's just a hummingbird faffing around there we go and then there there are the three lockpicks, there may be a lot more lockpicks on this level but because I'm maxed out they're not flashing so I wasn't really looking for them, by now you should have plenty, you're not going to need more than 15 through the end of the level uh, through the end of the game uh, there's your first piece of gear there on a table, and around the back of it is Voxophone number three. That's another one from Elizabeth. Deaths. And then carry on here, uh, objective marker again around this way. And just up here to the right, it's easy to miss, is Kinetoscope number three, Battleship Falls. And this one I did watch to the end, you'll see here. It falls off. Oh, oh, what humour. Anyway. Just around from there is your second piece of gear there on a table, and that's right by the stairs. You need to go up to the operating theatre, I think. But before you do that, uh, grab that gear, and then just around here by this projector, it's kind of tough to see. There is Voxophone number four. Sorry, not up to the operating theatre, up to the warden's office. Anyway, grab that and then head up those stairs. There's a bit of loot behind you, but here's the warden's office and there's Voxophone number 5 on a the table there. There's also lots of other goodies to snag, so look out for them. And then jump down and basically you're done. There's going to be fighting, fighting uh, here especially, but you can just jump over the side and save yourself a long haul and get back into the lift here to grab the sixth and final Voxophone there. And we'll wrap it up there for this one, so that's three levels in one, but next up you are going to get to the operating theatre on the right, which is basically a big fight with nothing till the end. And on the left, if you missed it, is Memorial Gardens, where there are 20 lockpicks, so you might want to check that place out pretty thoroughly so you've got lots for the next few levels. Anyway, I hope that was useful. See you in the next one. Bye!